Let's kick it off with your Texas Spine and Joint Hospital Game of the Week. Game of the Week, brought to you by Texas Spine and Joint. Oh, would the dream ride continue for the Lindale Eagles, the reaffirmed District of Doom champs, taking on another first-timer in the state semis in Austin LBJ, down in the Houston area, and that is where we find Garrett Sanders. He joins us live from George Turner Stadium in Humble, as Lindale has punched their tickets, Garrett, you tell me, after an amazing comeback to, to their first state championship game. Garrett, tell us about it. That's, ex that's exactly right, Mike. I don't know if you want to call it guts, heart, whatever you want to say. That's exactly what defines this Lindale Eagle football team. Let's go into the highlights, see how they did it. Now, of course, this was a nasty and rainy night in Humble, Texas, but the skies cleared up for this state semifinal matchup between Lindale and the Jaguars from Austin LBJ. Jags the ball first, Cedric Alexander. He'll dive with a goal line touchdown, Jags. They led six to nothing. Second quarter, same score, and once again, Alexander will get the carry. He will score from a yard out. Jags go a 14-0 after the two-point conversion. Lindell needing a big play. Jordan Jenkins would oblige. He will take the handoff to the right, steps away from the tackler, gets into the open field before he is dragged to the ground inside the red zone. But the Eagles would turn the ball over on downs. Then just a few plays later, Daquan Donaldson, he will get the handoff, makes a cut at the line, and he is off. A huge touchdown run there for LBJ, and the Jaguars extend their lead to 22 to nothing over Lindale. But the Eagles, they would get back in the game on special teams. Eric Williams, he'll receive the squid kick, and he will run left, cut back upfield, and he is gone. It is just what the Eagles needed. Williams returns the kick for a touchdown, and Lindale now trailed 22 to 7. But six seconds left in the half. Alexander powers away over the goal line for a fourth and goal touchdown. Now, LBJ led 28 to 7 at the half. I want you to look at the final score. Lindale comes roaring back and wins it 31 to 28 with a field goal with no time left on the clock. They punched their ticket to state for the first time ever, and head coach Chris Cochran couldn't have said enough about his boys. It's unbelievable. I mean, it's un, it's un, it's unreal. It's unmatched. Uh, I w we went in that locker room and uh, they were unfazed. We we again. I think I told you this last week. We it's a, a don't flinch mentality and uh, free your mind, free your feet, let it rip. All those things is what we preach, and uh, that's who they are. They're finishers. They're warriors. They're champions. So proud of them. They believed. Uh, in what they were doing, you know, and they 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 wanted to go win a state championship, and uh, that's that's something that you know was on has been on their mind this entire time. So I'm so proud of them. Mike, when we talked about Lindell for most of this playoffs, we talked about how every single week the program keeps making history. They did it once again tonight, punching their ticket to state. But of course, that book isn't written just yet because they'll be taking on the Argyle Eagles next Friday. And of course, that's when we'll find out if for the first time ever they will lift a state championship. What a game. What a night for East Texas down here in Humble. Great job, Coach Cochran and Lindell Eagles. Mike, back to you.